Nahum, Nahum 3. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departs not. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horseman lifts up both the bright sword and the glittering spear and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses and there is none end of their corpses they stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot the mistress of witchcrafts that sells nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts behold i am against you says yahuwah Savoth, and i will discover your skirts upon your face and i will show the nations your nakedness and the kingdoms your shame and i will cast abominable filth upon you and make you vile and will set you as a gazing stock and it shall come to pass that all they that look upon you shall flee from you and say Nineveh is laid waste who will bemoan her whence shall I seek comforts rather comforters for you are you better than populace no that was rather are you better than populace no that was situate among the rivers that had the waters round about whose rampart was the sea and her walls rather and her wall was from the sea Cush and mitzraim were her strength and it was infinite put and luvim were your helpers yet was she carried away she went into captivity her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets and they cast lots for her honorable men and all her great men were bound in chains you also shall be drunken you shall be hid you also shall seek strength because of the enemy all your strongholds shall be like fig trees with the first ripe fig figs if they be shaken they shall even fall into the mouth of the eater behold your people in the midst of you are women the gates of your land shall be set wide open unto your enemies the fire shall devour your bars draw waters for the siege fortify your strongholds go into clay and tread the mortar make strong the brick kiln there shall the fire devour you the sword shall cut you off it shall eat you up like the canker worm make yourself many as the canker worm make yourself many as the locusts you have multiplied your merchants above the stars of heaven the canker worm spoils and flies away your crowned are as the locusts and your captains as the great grasshoppers which camp in the hedges in the cold day but when the sun arises they flee away and their place is not known where they are your shepherds slumber o king of ash -shur. your nobles shall dwell in the dust your people is scattered upon the mountains and no man gathers them there is no healing of your bruise your wound is grievous all that hear the brute of you 
shall clap the hands over you. For upon whom has not your wickedness passed continually?